There are different types of Connecticut HVAC licenses. So here they are. The first type is apprentice. The second type is journey person. And the third type is contractor. You can find a lot of institutions and programs that offer training in HVAC, starting at the high school level. So here are the options. Connecticut Technical High School System, CT State Department of Education. Penn Foster, online. Entech Advanced Energy Training. Porter Amp, Chester Institute. Industrial Management Amp, Training Institute. Lincoln Technical Institute. Connecticut State College. You can find individual courses starting at $200, full programs starting at $17,000. In order to get a contractor license, you must have worked for two years as an HVAC journey person. A Connecticut HVAC contractor's average salary is $72,420. Connecticut HVAC contractors have the opportunity to obtain specialty licenses. So here they are. S1 type is an unlimited heating, piping, and cooling contractor license. S3 type is a limited piping, cooling, and heating contractor license. S5 type is a limited heating, steam contractor, and hot water license. S7 type is a limited contractor license. S9 type is a limited heating cooling contractor license. B1 type is a limited gas and oil burner contractor license. B3 type is a limited oil and gas burner contractor license. D1 type is a limited refrigeration contractor, warm air, and air conditioning license. D3 type is a limited cooling contractor license. G1 type is a limited cooling, heating, and piping contractor license. The application fee for the Journey Person HVAC license is $90. The initial license fee for an HVAC Journey Person is $120 after passing the exams. All the licenses expire on August 31st every year so it means you have to renew them. In order to renew the journey person license, you have to pay $120. And in order to renew the contractor license, you have to pay $150.